Good morning to you. It's Saturday. Today we will finish Mark's Gospel. So chapter 16, verse 20. And they went out and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word by signs that followed. So here we have the conclusion to the Gospel of Mark. We find that the disciples did what Jesus told them to do. They went out and they preached the word. And Jesus did what he promised. He was with them. For Jesus said, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And then he said, I am with you always to the close of the age. When we read the book of Acts, we see how the disciples went out and how they, empowered by the Holy Spirit, did many signs and wonders as well as preach the word. But it wasn't them doing the signs and wonders, of course. It was the power of the Holy Spirit. It was Jesus working through them by the power of the Holy Spirit. And nothing has changed today. He is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. So we need to just continue to live our lives walking in the Spirit, allowing Him to do whatever He wants. And as I've said before, we don't go chasing after signs and wonders. But if God wants to do them through us, we are available. We make ourselves available to Him. I do hope that this study of the Gospel of Mark has been beneficial to you uh, over the months as we've gone through this Gospel. We've learned a lot about the life and the teaching of Jesus. And the main thing I want to emphasize over and over again is that God's Word is relevant today. God's Word cannot be broken. Jesus, as I just mentioned, is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. We need Him. Everybody needs Him. We need to faithfully just live our lives walking with him daily as we do, reading his word, feeding on his word, and being true and faithful to him. The early Christian church grew rapidly, and it was because they had their focus on the word. They had their focus on following closely the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. The church today, in contrast, is weak and it's not growing. We have drifted away from God. We need to repent. We need to turn back to Him. We need to fully dedicate our lives to Him and not live, try to live with one foot in each world. So many Christians are trying to, to live in both worlds. You can't. We've got to come out and be separate from the world. We've got to offer ourselves to Him daily as a living sacrifice and be led by the Spirit. And then we're in the right place. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we come to you today with thanksgiving. We thank you for the study that we have done through the Gospel of Mark. We thank you for all the blessings that we have received and continue to receive. We thank you that your word is truth. We thank you that your word cannot be broken. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the same yesterday, today and forevermore. We thank you, too, that our life has a purpose when we live for you. Help us to see what that purpose is and help us to use the gifts that you have given to us. We offer ourselves anew to you today as a living sacrifice. We say, here I am, Lord, use me, send me, speak through me, touch through me, love through me. Holy Spirit, we pray that you would so empower us, that you would so fill us, that we are just overflowing with the love of Jesus to all whom we meet, wherever we go. May we be the best version of ourselves today and always. Heavenly Father, we pray for the country in which we live in and we pray for our leaders and governments. We pray that you would help them navigate through these times. We pray, Lord, for the Ukraine and enter the war there. We pray, Lord, have mercy. We lift up before you, Lord, those souls that are lost, and there's so many. We pray, Lord, that they would turn to you. We pray, Lord, that they would come to know that you love them so much, that you died and paid their sin dead and full, that everyone would come to a realization that by sin we are separated from you. By the blood of Jesus, we are united with you. Lord God, Heavenly Father, would you lay your hand on the sick and the dying, the poor, the needy? Would you comfort those who mourn? Would you, Lord, give direction to those who are aimlessly walking through life? Would you light a fire in the church again that her light would burn brightly, cleanse her and burn away all impurity? Begin with us, Lord. Begin in my heart. May the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart always be acceptable and pleasing to you. We come before you in repentance. We repent of our, our own sin, our corporate sin as a nation. 
Lord, we have gone away from you and followed after worldly desires and lusts. We repent and we turn to you and we pray, Lord, that you would turn the hearts of people everywhere to come back to you, for you are the only way. You are the only hope. So we entrust all to you. We ask your blessing over this day. And now together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. I hope to see you for tomorrow's sermon. And then next week we'll begin something new from the Word of God. Have a great day.